Well, I want to reminisce on that, on the 2008 Olympics. Yeah. Um, your first one, and uh -huh. obviously everyone knows the very, very famous race that I think is everyone's favorite, favorite. race, <laughs> yeah. which is the 4x100 freestyle <laughs> relay. But that is good homework. If you are listening or watching and yeah. you have not seen the 4x100 freestyle relay from the 2008 Beijing Olympics, homework that yeah. is your job Appreciate after this that. yeah yes. like what and then you'll watch it and then more the times. entire documentary that was done about it is uh, is bonus extra credit i'm gonna be honest with both of you to this day even at trials i have these young kids running up to me like oh my god you're colin jones i'm like how you were born like last week how do you know it's that that epic and the, the parents the parents are like you're gonna watch this yeah, anyway this so i i feel knowledge. really blessed for that mm -hmm. and i can't watch it without my heart rate just no. shooting through. it was historic you oh, were a part God. of something that was unbelievably yeah. historic really in many cool. ways i want to hear just what's in your mind the whole time like i feel like i, I mean oh. i actually i'm really bitter about that day because I didn't get to watch it live. No, yeah. I well, was you, had, you had quite the uh, catalog of events I had, you had to race. I had things I was doing, <laughs> yes. But the 400 I am was right before it and yeah. I, I watched on this tiny little screen in the warm down pool, which was obviously still very epic, but not like watching you were it there, there. You heard it. I heard real, it. Real I time. heard it. But I, I would love, I've never actually yeah. heard what you were thinking. I mean, mm. there has to have been like 30 different emotions going on in your head from, so can you take us from like ready room yeah. to through the race? Absolutely. So, um, for all those that have not been to an Olympic games, it's basically summer camp. You're sitting in <laughs> an apartment, you're with your best friends. And then there's like a dining hall that you go to. And so that morning, the night before, um, the NBA guys came, mm. if you remember, they yes. came to, to yes. wish us good luck. Yes. And so I was on a cloud because I got to meet Kobe Bryant. Yes. And that was like, still to this day, I will watch clips of him and I'm just be inspired. And the short few times that I've been able to have conversations with him, he was just such a big uh, impact on me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but the next day I was on a cloud. I was like, all right, let's go. Um, I knew I was technically the slowest person with a 47.6 on the team, which to this day still blows my mind. Um, but I was the slowest person. So my biggest thing was like, don't mess up. You want to go as fast as you possibly can. Yeah. Um, of course, MP's going for eight gold medals, yeah. but of course he didn't, he never made it about that. Like it was always about Team USA. Yes, of course we want to win, but him going for eight made us all step up and want to win. Um, Jason, who was on the 2000 relay, lost it to Australia. First time the US has ever lost a four by 100. He's I guess bitter would be a yeah. nice way to put it. <laughs> be the perfect but word to he's describe. Like, we are we are taking this back. Like vendetta and I'm like, against Dude, them. you know that they have the world record holder and the fastest man in the the hundred freestyle this year. And me as the rookie and Garrett as the rookie, we're sitting there like, Michael, <laughs> Jason, teach us. <laughs> and uh, they were just like, just go out there and do it. And and that was it. There was no other question of we could lose. No. That was not even in our minds. Um, so right in the ready room, it's so funny to think about the personalities, right? Oh, so like, so different. you guys met Mean Mug uh, MP back in 2026, in 2016. He was doing that back <laughs> in 2008 he's in the ready been room. He's around a while. He's, he's so focused. 2004 he's in his thing. even. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sh I, I want to know how he was when he was 16 in 2000. I wonder how Ooh. how he was in the ready room. Was he actually nervous? I heard he was like always playing pranks and kind of being that little brother to everybody. Yeah, that's that what I've about, heard. Right? That's, right? that's on that brand. Checks yeah, out. that yeah. checks out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he, he was just, he was such in his own. And then you had... Jason just standing and just kind of even keel because he's, you know, he was always the dad on the team. Mm -hmm. So like we all like looked up to him and then Garrett is like, he's got his foot on the chair and he's like vibrating the chair. He's so <laughs> nervous. I'm like, chill. And I'm just like blowing my eardrums out, listening to like Jay-Z, I think at the time, but I was just so amped up. And then Eddie Reese comes by and he's like, I'm like, okay, okay. The coach is going to say something. All right. He's our Olympic coach. Here we go. He walks up and goes, don't mess up and then walks off. I was like, stop. That is such an Eddie thing. Right? I mean, so, right? I'm I'll not like dead surprised pan. at all. Dead yeah, pan. Just Completely don't mess up. Dead pan. I was like, okay. Cool. What, did you guys look at each other or was it just like, did MP probably ignored him? No, he ignored him. Like, Jason just looked at him like, if you don't get out of here. <laughs> and I'm along. sitting there laughing. I'm like, what? I, I, I probably needed it. I actually probably needed that that moment. And that's that, that the magic moment. of Eddie. Yeah. You probably need, knew you did. I needed to laugh. And Garrett, because he swam for Eddie, Garrett's laughing. And so I, I think it helped the two rookies kind of yeah. come down. But 
when we were behind the blocks, um, his storybook, you know, and I look who I'm talking to. You've been behind the blocks where you know where it's like, it's weird. You know something special is about to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we were worried because you had Brazil who had Caesar Cielo, who's, and they front loaded their relay. Then you had Australia with Eamon Sullivan who front loaded their nice. relay. And we've got Mike going first. And we're like, wait a minute, is this the best thing? We, we can't change it because it's on the card already. But he's going first. He obviously is one of our studs on the team. We want him in a place. I was going third. Um, Garrett had the fastest 100 for the U.S. at that time. So we felt good about how we were stacked up. But when we saw the lineup and then we looked over at the French team and saw Freddie and Elaine in the back, I was like, oh, because yeah. <laughs> I knew, and I mean, I've trained with Fred Bousquet. He's a, a really good friend of mine. Yeah. And I'm just looking at him and he's got this smile. I'm like, you. <laughs> well, that's it... something that people don't realize. Like you have no idea until you walk out there yeah. what the lineup looks yeah. like. That's you a have, great point. You have no idea. And then yeah. you're looking, you're like, oh, okay. So now literally two minutes before I'm about to race, I know who I'm racing. But exactly. that's your first glimpse at it yes. because, I mean, it's smart. Right. No, it's yeah. Factor, and it, and but... it keeps everything, you know, fair across the board. Yes. But when you look and, I mean, we were sitting there thinking. So we sat with the coaches as we knew that the, it was going to be the four of us. But they were pulled us into a room and they were like, what do you guys think? Really? And I was actually really, and I think it was because of Jason, because everyone just trusts Jason because yeah. of his maturity on the team. But... You know, we were we were thinking about like who's going to front load, who's going to back load. Well, the French team they could split it. We don't know, and so our goal was to split. We knew that most likely, you know, Michael didn't actually swim the hundred, but we knew he could go forty-seven low, and then we knew um, Garrett and Jason can do it. And I had just gone forty-seven mid, so I was like, okay, this is we're looking pretty good yeah. now. No one thought Jason would go 46. Oh, but, but <laughs> you know, there's that Superman, you know, came, came to, came to play. Um, but, but yeah, there was a lot of strategy behind it, but yeah, you're right. Like when you get behind the block, you're like, Oh God, I'm racing you. Yeah, you're like, oh. So was there any, at that point, there was no, I mean, you've, everyone's seen the kind of the pan in the video. There are no words spoken at that point, right? Definitely not guys. between the, yeah. the, yeah. the, the uh, teams. No, I mean. Or between the four of you. No, we, we, we knew what we were going to, no, no, we just knew. That. We knew it, it was go time. There was yeah. no words besides let's go. And if you've ever been behind the block with, with MP, it's just a different type of let's go. When he gets hype, I mean, the, the we were just like, I'm getting chills now. Yeah, I'm ready to go. You want yeah, to go? Yeah, you want to go? Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready now. Done. Let's let's go. I mean, I was just so hyped up, and I was like, all right, let's go. We we got this. There, yeah. there was no thought in my mind that we could lose. None. 